One of the most captivating civil wars to ever sweep through England was when the House of York and the House of Lancaster were both fighting for the English throne during the Wars of the Roses. Both of them had claims to the throne, and both during the 15th century would sit at the top of English society. It was a time of great bloodshed, uncertainty and fierce battles, but there was one man who caused chaos in the dynastic struggles and crossed his own brother, the King of England. George Plantagenet was a turncoat, and a man who betrayed his brother, and for his backstabbing he was sentenced to death and was executed in a rather bizarre and shocking way. Join us today as we look at the Duke of Clarence, who was killed when he was drowned in wine. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. George Plantagenet was the son of Richard Plantagenet, the Duke of York, and was born in Dublin Castle in October 1449. His mother was Cecily Neville, but he's remembered in history for having two brothers, who became kings of England in their own right. Edward IV seized the throne during the Wars of the Roses, and his other brother Richard would become Richard III, following the debacle with the princes in the tower, and he then claimed the throne. The family were close to the crown, and it was George's father who initially challenged the Lancastrians to the throne, but he was defeated during the Battle of Wakefield in 1460. Also, George's older brother Edmund, known as the Earl of Rutland, would be killed in battle, and George and Richard were sent away to be protected. The Yorkist claim would continue through George's brother Edward, who was known as the Earl of March, and he continued to lead the family's claim. He was a feared military leader, and was known for defeating the King Henry VI at the Battle of Toton, and then he himself was proclaimed King, deposing Henry. Edward was then crowned King Edward IV at Westminster, and this meant that George Plantagenet was the brother of a king, and Edward rewarded him and his other siblings, and George became known as the Duke of Clarence in 1461, and his younger brother Richard became the Duke of Gloucester. Edward later then married Elizabeth Woodville, and he continued to surround himself with influential earls, including Warwick kingmaker Richard Neville, the Earl of Warwick. George Plantagenet wished to marry Warwick's eldest daughter, and heirs to his lands and titles, Isabel Neville. But Edward IV, the king, refused to support this match, and against the king's ideas, George and Isabel went to France and got married, but this began George's arguments with the king. As time went on, he grew close with the influential Warwick kingmaker, and he gave his support to rebels in the north, and the king also learned that his own brother was stabbing him in the back and becoming a traitor. George lost his title of the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, and he then left England to go to France with Warwick Kingmaker, his father-in-law. He was looked after by King Louis XII in France, and whilst away the pair began to support the Lancastrian, Queen Margaret of Anjou, when the pair switched to their enemies of the Wars of the Roses, the House of Lancaster. This was a huge shock, as George was born into the House of York, and his own father began the challenge, and this was seen as a huge betrayal. George and his father-in-law invaded England, and George was fighting for the enemy, and to restore the enemy to the throne against his own brother. But quickly he knew he had done wrong, and he begged his brother Edward for forgiveness. George did earn his brother's trust, and he returned back to the Orcus cause, and he turned his back on the Earl of Warwick, who was later killed by Edward's soldiers at the Battle of Barnet in 1471. Edward reinstated his brother, and George became the Great Chamberlain of England, but he did kidnap Anne Neville, his sister-in-law, after George's brother Richard tried to marry her, and he was worried about the share of the Earl of Warwick's land that he would get. But George did have two children with Isabel Neville, Edward the Earl of Warwick, and also Margaret the Countess of Salisbury, who was also executed inside the walls of the Tower of London. But tragedy hit George in December 1476, when his wife died after she gave birth to a son who also died, and following this George went off the rails. He tried to remarry, but Edward yet again refused to support a match, and George yet again plotted against his brother, Edward IV. He became very paranoid, and claimed that his wife had been poisoned by one of her servants, and George later hanged her after she was found guilty at a trial, which was not legal. George then began to dissent against his brother the king, and he perpetuated rumours that the king was illegitimate, and that his mother had an affair with a man, which was actually his father, who was an archer. He claimed Edward IV's queen was also illegitimate, and their marriage was false and not legally binding. When Edward IV found out about his brother's words, he was outraged and angry, 
He executed one of George Plantagenet's household staff, John Stacey, who was accused of witchcraft and then killed. But George was not put off though, and he continued to speak out against his brother. But Edward IV had had enough, and he ordered the arrest of his younger brother, and George was then imprisoned at the Tower of London. Whilst here he was charged with high treason against his brother the king, and he was held here for a few months, as Edward was debating what to do, and whether to execute George, or to let him go free. He was hesitant to sentence his own brother to death, but eventually he was persuaded to do so, and a trial for George was brought against him. George was not present at it, but Edward sentenced his own brother to death, and he urged Parliament to pass an act of attainder, claiming his brother was guilty of treason. This was passed, and George was condemned to die, but his execution was one of the most bizarre in English history. George was not beheaded by axe, as which would have been expected, or hanged, drawn and quartered, but he underwent an execution which was extremely bizarre. The Tower of London at the time was the most secure and formidable fortress in England, but it was there where George Plantagenet, the brother of King Edward IV, was executed in private, in front of no crowd. The official records from the Tower at the time claim that the execution took place inside the Bowyer Tower, part of the castle. In the following century, three queens of England would lose their heads and lives in the Tower of London, and George would be the first of the royal ruling family to be killed and executed within the Tower's walls. But it was not done as mentioned by Axe, but a disturbing and shocking rumour documented George Plantagenet's execution. It was said that inside the Bowyer Tower, George was privately executed by a number of the guards of the Tower of London. Edward IV had ordered that his brother should be drowned and executed in a barrel, or a water butt, full with malmsey wine. So George would have been lowered and held in a barrel full of wine, and some believe this was Edward having a final say on his brother, and the king sentencing him to a unique but still brutal death with much suffering. George was dunked in the wine and then held under, until he succumbed to his fate, drowning and then dying. This would have been a more brutal and more painful ordeal for George than if he had been simply beheaded on Tower Hill, like many more after him would succumb to, after being found guilty of treason. Interestingly, in a portrait, Margaret, his daughter, is shown with a bracelet that has a barrel on it, and this could symbolise her link to her father and his brutal fate inside the Tower of London. As mentioned, she would also be executed inside the Tower of London during the reign of King Henry VIII. But George Plantagenet is considered one of the biggest traitors in medieval history, turning on his brother Edward IV and causing him a number of problems. For some people, a barrel of wine would be a good thing, but for George Plantagenet, the Duke of Clarence, it certainly was not. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.